good morning. It is Wednesday and I am planning on getting a whole bunch of stuff done this morning or today. I'm going to run out and get some last minute shopping done. I don't really have too much to do. Um, and then I'm going to head over to Costco to do the big Christmas shop and I'm hoping it's not too crazy over there. <sighs> so I think today is the day that I'm going to finish all that nagging kind of stuff. Some, a little bit of cleaning, uh, some shopping, and then I'm gonna come back and make my baking list, which I'm really excited about, and just kind of relax and start watching some Christmas movies and doing a few things with the kids. But look at what I went and did last night when I was cooking. I had hot oil on the stove, and I wasn't paying attention, it was way too high, and when I dropped what I was cooking into it, it just splashed everywhere. <sighs> not fun. So I'm gonna head out and start getting things done. Hey everyone, I was just sitting down to paint my nails this afternoon and I am waiting for them to dry. I'm using my favorite Essie, or one of my favorite Essie colors, which is Enough is Enough. And my hands have just been so bad lately, I think from all the cleaning I've been doing, and I've been picking up my cuticles, so I just thought I would sit down and paint them so I'm less likely to pick at them. And I'm kind of stubborn about going for manicures. I'm not a big fan of it. I love the end result, but I really just don't like going for them so I just paint my nails at home. But as I was doing them and sitting here, I had a few people ask me about what makeup I've been wearing and what colors I use. And so I thought I would take a minute and hopefully keep it really quick and share some of my favorite products or colors that I've been using through Vlogmas. Um, Basically, I am super dry and super pale, so I just use a bit of concealer on red splotches and my really dark under eyes. But I love blush, and these are my two favorite brands of blush. I really love NARS, and the one that I've been reaching for is Orgasm. And it has some shimmer, so I think that kind of helps in the winter. And then this Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Compact. It's kind of a similar, um, it's a highlighter, but it's got a lot of pigment in it. So I use it as a blush and it's a little bit more brownish and pink. So I don't use them at the same time, but depending on how I feel, I pick one of those. And for my eyes, I have been using this every day. It is by MAC. It's a paint pot in the color Groundwork, which is just a really light brown. So it's a cream product and I put that on my eyelids and that kind of helps the eyeshadow stick on a little bit and then I just put a little bit of um, a metallic or sparkly kind of shadow on from Bobbi Brown. So it's usually this one, I'll tell you the color of that one. That one is a metallic eyeshadow in the color Marble. And then this palette a friend of mine gave me so many years ago and I still love it. It is so pretty, and I usually use one of these metallics, but normally this one. And it is also a metallic eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown, and that one is Nude Spice. So I hope you can get, um, I hope those are sold separately if you can't find the compacts, but those are my favorite, and I like to kind of keep it simple with some mascara. And then if I feel like it, I've actually got um, the NARS orgasm in what do they call these sticks it's the NARS multiple so you can use this on your eyes or on your cheeks and it's basically the same color but I find if my skin is really dry uh, a cream product is really good so I use that one on my cheeks and also these little um, what is it called sheer color cheek tint from Bobbi Brown this one is in sheer pink and they have a lot of nice colors too so you can use this on your cheeks and your lips and it looks really bright but it's kind of sheer so it ends up being really pretty I hope that answers any questions and 
I am waiting for my nails to dry and then I'm going to go and make my baking list for Christmas cookies and kind of play with some of my journals and get my planner ready and maybe I'll check in with you when I'm doing that too. I'm just doing a few things in my sewing room and I came across my on the sea train hat. It is almost dry but not quite so I think I'm just going to leave it one more night and hopefully it will be ready for tomorrow. Can you guys see the halo on that? It is just beautiful. I cannot wait to wear it. So that is the um, the Woolfolk Far, double-stranded with the Shibui Silk Cloud. And that Silk Cloud is what's giving you that nice fuzzy appearance. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm just sitting at my table here and I'm watching one of my most favorite vlogmases. I'm spending some time with Kay, the crazy sock lady. And I'm having some coffee in my favorite new mug. I picked this up at Starbucks today because they were all 30% off. Oh, I'm surrounding myself with my favorite things because I just used my favorite hand cream. This is by Aesop. It's the Mandarin Rind Rosemary Leaf and cedar atlas scent and it is so lovely and I'm just having a look at my journals and planners for 2018 and figuring out what I want to do so I mentioned before that this is my Hobonichi cover that I've had for a few years and this is what I bought the refill for so I've gone ahead and put in my brand new Hobonichi 2018 refill it's so I love this planner. I think it's my favorite. Um, it's got, I'll just show you quickly. It's got a monthly. It has the weekly in the vertical format, which I really like. And it has daily pages. So you have tons and tons of paper. And I usually use the monthly and the weekly for my planning. And then all of these sheets I end up using for lists notes like whatever if we're having a birthday party for one of the kids this is where I make my notes and uh, grocery lists or all kinds of things if I want to try new recipes that's what I use that for so this was the extra um, Hobonichi cover and then I put this plastic Stockholm cover on cover is what it's called on it and I put my old Hobonichi 2017 in here because I still have a lot of pages left from the daily so I can still use this for other lists maybe keep it up here in um, the sewing room and this is actually this was actually my word of 2017 and I loved this word it's really good for me um, I just I used it in so many ways I used it in a way of um, trying to extend myself and give to others but also give more in the knitting community by participating more um, I wanted to give myself time to work on skills and give myself more credit for things like I really loved this word it was perfect I'm almost considering using it again but I really want to pick a new one and also I'm kind of loving the feel of this book and now I'm wondering if I want this to be my planner and switch it up a bit and then I can you always go back to this one if I get bored and I want to switch things up but I'm, I've never had this size and this type from Hobonichi before and I love the color so I'm not sure I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use as my planner because that is the one that I will be using more often and I was just admiring my beautiful folio cover from Sojourner. Um, I wish you guys could feel this leather. It is so soft and beautiful. I just, I can't get enough of how it feels in my hands. It is a folio, so you just put your book in the front and the back. And I'm still hesitating to start this. This is going to be my art journal for 2018. Um, but I really want to start off with my one little word. And I'm still thinking about that. I have a couple in mind, but nothing has really, um, nothing is settled yet. So I'm waiting to start that because I just want to start that way. 
and have these beautiful stickers from Nastia Slapsova. I am excited to use those in here and also this stamp. I love Kelly Perky stamps. Uh, this one was just calling my name because it's all crafty based. I think it's called the Let's Get Crafty stamp set. Super cute. So I'm just kind of getting my stack together for preparation for 2018, but I'm definitely going to start using these pretty soon. I just am thinking about my one little word and I think next I'm going to make my baking list. You guys, Christmas came early again. This is a beautiful package that I received from my bestie, Meg, who is Wool and Cookies. Her and I have been chatting for such a long time and we have so many similar interests and loves that we decided for Christmas we were going to send each other a box of goodies and swap an Emma Bridgewater mug because we love them. I think she has some, I haven't had any. So we picked a, a mug for each other, a surprise mug, and just put a package together and this is what she sent me and it could not be more perfect. Every little bit of it. She sent some homemade peppermint bark and some dove chocolates. Very kitchen themed and inspired, which I love. She loves to bake and I cannot wait to try some of this stuff. She sent me a beautiful holiday cookie book and a novel and cookie cutters and enamel pins and oh my gosh, a sweater cookie cutter. I love it. And this beautiful nice and knit. This is my first nice and knit sock yarn or any of their yarn I have not had and I love their yarn. Um, this is the evening, what does that say? Evening Swim colorway and it is so my color. Thank you, Meg. Oh my gosh. I just, I'm going to sit here and stare at all of this gorgeousness, the enamel pins and this mug. It's perfect. It's camping inspired. I could not be happier. I am so lucky to have such a great friend. Thank you, Meg. When you are Canadian and you come home from Costco without enough room in your fridge, you can use your garage. It's freezing in here. 